Hello everyone, welcome back to the new episode of my tutorial series on software development. In the previous episode, we have successfully added uh, functionality to uh, search uh, for products and display the respective details in our text boxes. In this episode, we will uh, add the uh, product we searched uh, in our data grid view. So without further delay, let's move to our tutorial. <laughs> So first of all, what we'll need to do is we need to open our project. So let's go to our project folder and open our project solution, which is any store dot solution for me. So I'll just double click on solution file and it will open on our Visual Studio IDE. Now we have already added a functionality to search dealer or customer and display the respective details in text boxes and we also added functionality to search the product and display the respective details in these text boxes. Now we will add a functionality to add the product we purchase and display in this data grid view. So just go to the um, add button and just double click on it to create a button click event. So I'll just double click on it and we have successfully created a button add click event so here first step is to get all the values that are product name inventory or uh, yes inventory but we do not need this we need what we need is product name rate and number of quantity we need to buy we want to buy so name inventory a uh, name rate and quantity we don't need inventory and it uh, in search so let's go to our code view and get product product name rate and quantity customer wants to buy so this string product name is equals to txt product name dot text and then and there will be rate rate will be of decimal data type so decimal rate is equals to txt rate dot text since it's a decimal data type it will be, it needs to be changed so decimal dot parse and last one is parenthesis and another one is quantity so decimal qty is equals to decimal dot parse and txt qty dot text now we need to add these data in our data grid view so first step is to check uh, whether the product is selected or not if product is selected then we will add here but if the product is not selected and we click on add button then we need to display our error message so check whether the product is selected or not for that if product name is equals to is equals to blank then we will display our error message message else add product to the data grid view so here let's display the error so message box dot so select the product first try again so that's it and here we need to add the product to the data grid view so for that we need to create a data table so we but we won't create data table inside this event but we will create a data table at the top it will be a global data table because if we create a data table inside this add click event then every time we click the button a new data table will be created so the product won't be added added here so we won't see multiple products here but we only see a single product 
but if we create a data table at the top then we will we can add the multiple products in same data grid view so let's create a data table in the top after products dl object so data table transaction dt is equal to new data table that's it now we will use this data table to show the products here so dt transaction transaction dt dot rows dot add and we will add first one is product name product name then rate then quantity let's add a total also so i'll uh, calculate the total which is decimal t uh, total equals rate into quantity so the formula is simple total is equals to rate into quantity that's it now we'll add total also here so total that's it guys let's press ctrl and s to save press ctrl and s and let's see if it works or not i'll go to start and login with user credentials user user and user type is user login okay and purchase so i'll type for two why why i'll i want to buy four of them so i'll click on add i think we have an error here we have an error on another system occurred here and i'll just close it and i'll just try to find an error and solve it i forgot to uh, display it in data grid view so let's so in data grid view for that let's go to firm and let's select this data grid view let's go to properties and its name is dgb added products so dgv added products dot data source is equals to transaction dt so that's it i think it should work let's press ctrl and s to save click on start user user and user type is user login login successful purchase search to quantity for add we still have error so let's wait here the error is showing because i forgot to specify column for this uh, transaction dt data table so for that we need to go to our form load event so select the form uh, click on empty space and double click on empty space here and this is a form purchase and sales load event so when we load our form we need to specify uh, the columns for our transaction data table so specify columns for our transaction data table so transaction dt dot columns dot add and then first one is product name and the second one is let's see first one is product name then rate and quantity and total so rate quantity total transaction dt dot columns dot add and rate and another one is transaction dt dot columns dot add and then quantity and last one is total so transaction dt dot columns dot add and total so that's it let's press ctrl and s to save and let's start our application username is user password is 
user and user type is user let's log in log in successful let's go to purchase and search for product i'll search three and i want to buy five fanta and rate is 20 so let's click on add so the product is shown successfully rate is 20 and quantity is 5 so total will be 100 20 into 500 and similarly let's add uh, a functionality to clear all the text boxes after the product is added so that we can add another products like let's search for another product to yy so i want to buy i think 10 products so i'll click on add so this is calculating successfully I, I typed 18 i type 20, 10 quantity and rate is 18 so 120 180 so let's clear list the add functionality to clear all the text boxes after the product is added and let's add also a functionality to show the subtotal uh, sum of this total so let's go let's close this form close this form and close this form so first we want to clear the text boxes when we successfully uh, show the data in data grid view so let's clear the text boxes here text boxes so txt product uh, search product dot text is equals to blank txt product name dot text is goes to blank and txt inventory dot text is equals to 0 0 0 and txt rate dot text is goes to 0 dot 0 0 and txt quantity dot text is equals to 0 dot 0 0 so let's save it by pressing ctrl and s and let's start click on start to start so user 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 type will be user login login successful so go to purchase i'll search for four and quantity two add and it is successfully cleared and everything zero zero and this are uh, clear so another one is four three add so we successfully added functionality to clear text boxes now let's show a subtotal here so i'll just close this application close this application and close let's stop and after we calculate the total this is the total for a single row so after calculating total we will display it in subtotal text box so after that display the subtotal total in text box for that we need to get the value from the text box first so i will go to the purchase and sales form and in the subtotal text box i will go to property select the subtotal uh, text box and go to properties and i will set its value to zero at first so if we do not have any product added then the subtotal will be zero but as soon as we add the product the value will be changed so let's go to the uh, code view and first step is to get the total value from text box then let's create a, a decimal variable for uh, storing the value from subtotal text box so decimal subtotal is equals to decimal dot parse and uh, we will save it from our the subtotal text box so let's select the subtotal text box and let's check it name txt subtotal so and t decimal dot parse then txt subtotal dot text that's it so we have the initial value of the subtotal which will be zero but as soon as uh, the product is added its value will be changed so subtotal is equals to subtotal plus total plus plus total 
so what this will uh, do is it will get the initial value of the sub total uh, at first when we do not have any product it will be zero and it will save it here and when we add the product when we click on button add click it will calculate the total of that product that is rate and quantity is total rate and quantity is total and first we have zero then when we add the product it will be this total will be added to initial subtotal so let's uh, for example uh, if the total is 100 then uh, the here we have 0 and 0 plus 100 equals it will be 100 so the new subtotal will be 100 but when we add another product again and let's say uh, we another product total is 180 now it will be here we already have 100 and the uh, the second after we add with second product it will be 100 plus 180 so our new subtotal will be 180 so we have uh, added a subtotal here now we need to display the subtotal uh, we will display after the uh, all the data is added in data grid view so here we will display display the subtotal in text box so txt subtotal dot text is equals to subtotal so that's it subtotal dot text uh, dot to strings that's it now it should work let's play it control and yes to save and uh, let's check it out if it works or not so i'll click on start let's you enter the user credentials which is user password is user and user type is user let's log in okay I'll just click on purchase so initially we have zero so when we add another product so let's say two and quantity is let's say 10 so our uh, total will be we, uh, our total will be 180 and our software product is zero so zero plus 180 it should be 180 here so it's 180 now add another product three and its rate is 20 and I'll add one product so its total will be 20 into 1 is equals to 20 but initially our subtotal is here 180 so it's it should be 180 plus 20 so it will be 200 so we have successfully calculated subtotal in our purchase or sales uh, billing system uh, so in the next episode we will calculate a discount VAT and calculate grand total uh, based on this discount and VAT. we'll calculate grand total and we will also uh, calculate the amount paid by the customer and the amount we need to return to them will be calculated here so thanks so much for watching if you like this video then don't forget to like share and subscribe if you uh, have any confusion related to this video then don't forget to comment i'll reply as soon as possible so till then see you soon bye bye